thought we might do something a little bit different. I received a comment today on one of my videos from a, a viewer, Daniel Seraphim, about um, some upcoming um, updates to V Rising. I had absolutely no idea about them, so thank you, Daniel. So I thought we might do a little bit of a reaction video here. I've started to watch like the first minute of it. It's so cool. I thought we could go through it together. For those of you who are interested in V Rising, I know it's not the most popular video on the channel, but let's check it out together. February, we learned about a free by the way, this is Back from February, Vulcan. We learned about a free new expansion coming to V Rising, and today we have all of the details of what is changing with this vampire action RPG. It looks really so good. Up, we... Now, bear in mind, I've hardly played V Rising. Um, I've played, I think I've done two, two episodes on it. It's great. I'm loving it. I have no idea how deep the game is because I've avoided playing it or uh, watching too much content on it, as I tend to do with games that I want to play. But watching this trailer makes me realize it's exceptionally deep and about to get a lot deeper. We get a massive new zone with two unique areas called Gloom Rot. Now this biome is full of lightning, pollution, and mutated experiments that spawn from something called the Transcendum. Like this looks so cool. Probably like a meg I don't know if these, there are probably similar environments in the game already that I have obviously yet to explore, but um, it just makes me realize that this game is exceptionally deep and way more, uh, magically oriented than I had realized. A laboratory that believes they're improving life instead of destroying it, and it's going to follow that typical trope. They did mention the ultimate weapon lives there that we will have to overcome and defeat. But the rest of the world also received an update. They mentioned that there are improvements and expansions to the existing world, like a new vineyard in Silverlight, a new choking mist in... So we've literally, we're like down here in the game. We're like down here. We haven't been through any of this yet so much yet to explore i don't know if oh yeah this is the this is the game currently isn't it with a few expansions forests and lots and lots of new places to discover in dunley farms now in the towns mm. themselves we have new trading hubs before we could assume a human form and then interact with the merchants i didn't know that coin in exchange for goods now we have stalls all the way across the world of vardarin that'll offer a variety of things to purchase Next, if you're a castle building fanatic, you will have much more customization at your fingertips. You can now build multiple floors to your castle. I didn't know that you couldn't do that already. I assumed that you could, but uh, I guess it was just a single level. So soon we'll be able to add more levels. By the way, this update's coming on the 17th of May, which is uh, 12 days away as we make this video. And use all new stairways, gardens, colors, and even new crafting stations to enhance your experience. Now, out roaming that brand new overhauled world are 13 new bosses. These can be found across Gloomrot and the rest of Vardarin to take down and then gain their powers. But bosses are not the only new thing to fight. We also have 30 new enemy types ranging from humans, spiders, elementals, cool. and abominations. Look at this so thing. there's a brand new wide variety of enemies that we get to fight. What the hell is this here? Look. It's got like a baby version inside itself. And this thing here has one gigantic arm. And what on earth is that in the background? Like a bundle of skulls and arms and skeletons and teeth. Fight and test our brand new skills on. And this weapon here. Carry on. Sorry about that. And speaking of new skills. I'm installing WoW. WoW Classic. No, 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 not WoW Classic, the new one. Anyway, that's something else. We also have a new school of magic. Now, remember, this is something they teased like a month ago, and we were talking about it. We are trying to figure out what's the new school that's going to get added. They finally revealed it. It is Storm Magic. We'll be able to Interesting. The power of thunder. This is where I realize I really know nothing about the game. It's making me very excited to see, uh, to see more of what is in the game currently. I'm enjoying what we're playing, and I'm looking forward to playing more already. ...and lightning to scorch anything that stands in our path, and I'm very curious to see how diverse they get with this school and what specific spells are offered. I mean, I love me a good storm build, so maybe this is going to end up taking over what I've been running in the chaos tree so far, cool. but storm seems to be a really cool one, and gloom rot sort of revolves around lightning and all of that, so... Like I said, it'll be interesting to see what they actually offer with this new school. 
But the thing is, magic isn't the only new set of tools that we get. Right. We also have great swords that got added to the game, and dual pistols are going to be added. Oh, to wow. Interesting. I want, are there already guns that you can get then? Or is our pistols going to be a new thing totally? I had no idea you could get guns. Well, so if you are a berserker or like a gunslinging rogue vampire, then you're going to have new ways to build your character. And it sounds like there are guns in the game already, so that's cool. And more ways to build is always better. So let's go ahead and keep the trend moving along. Look at this thing. Gigantic... What is it? Some sort of gigantic rock creature. With weapons. They also announced legendary weapons. Now, these are one-of-a-kind weapons that need to be restored to their former glory using the legendary forge in your castle. Mm, cool. These weapons will come with a random affix that grants a passive or an on-hit effect. Now, the example we got is these dual axes that'll inflict leech on hit. Screaming Bloodbringers. That's got to be one of the best names for a weapon I've ever heard. Incredible stat boosts, blood infused, hits inflict leech, lifesteal, right? Dual wield axes that deal chop damage and uh, has a greater effect on wood. Yeah, we know about that sort of stuff. So, while some might be low-key and beneficial... By the way, this is this is just a bit blurry. It's, it's set to HD, but the video itself is a bit, bit blurry. Others might really change the way certain skills work. We're going to have to wait and see, as with all of this other stuff, we'll just have to wait and see how it actually performs in the game. Now, the last major addition coming with this expansion are jewels. We covered these in a jewels. previous video, but... Jewels are a new type of item that can be used to strengthen and modify spell powers. Interesting. Okay. You can find these out in the world by killing standard units, V-blood units, opening chests. And then once you have a jewel, you can slot it into spells to modify how they work. And for those on PvP servers, slotted jewels will not be dropped on death. Now, please mm. be aware, only one jewel can be equipped into each ability... So please give them a look and figure out the best combinations for your playstyle. So they work basically as modifiers or boosters, I guess. So besides all of that, which seems to be a ton of new stuff, I mean, they did say 2023 was going to be the year of the vampire. We have two additional updates slash expansions, as they're calling them, also coming out this year. So there's going to be a ton of new V Rising stuff. There's so much more so to this game than I realized. We also have new cosmetic options, improved sound and music, and more ways to move about the world. Really new cool. Teleporters, new inventory bags. I'd love, I'd love to play this multiplayer. You know, to get a group of people who who have a lot of fun and work together to build up a town, or or, or however it works. I don't know how that works with building maybe multiple castles, or does everybody work on the same castle? New items, more items, and even vampire horses that we can use to get around. Cool. And all of this is coming your way for free on May seventeenth. That's another element too. It's free. It's a free update for the game. So guys, what do you think about this new expansion and which parts do you want to know more about? I came across one of those tree ants and that surprised me. I think, well, you know, looking back, obviously, I remember seeing the skeletons and, okay, some of the enemy types seemed to be a little bit magical, but I just hadn't put it together that the game was like a full-on kind of magic-based ARPG uh, with real magical creatures until I saw that tree ent the ent the tree entity um so anyway yeah, let's i guess we let's watch the last last 30 seconds for me i want to see more examples of the new storm school of magic as well as more examples of someone was using a gun just then away for free on may to know more about for me i want to see more examples of the new storm one of these guys oh is that is that a crossbow is it magic okay never mind well as yeah, it's a crossbow. More examples of legendary weapons to figure out how I can make my vampire best fit my play. Horse combat. Style. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you next time. Really cool. Really, really cool. That reminds me of Dave. I don't know if you, if any of you know who Dave is. Say, uh, I don't know. Say, say hi, Dave, in the comments. Reminds me a little bit of Dave. Next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, that was just uh, a really cool video. Thank you to, uh, who was it I said it was? Daniel Seraphim for the comment, for letting me know. I had absolutely no idea there was an update coming. 
looks really cool and uh, yeah i can't wait to check it out i'll be i think i'll be continuing to play in the current version of the game just so i can get a bit more used to uh, you know everything the mechanics and the game world and the gameplay and i'm not sure if we would have to start a new series when the update drops or if we can just carry on from the same world but uh, i guess we will find out together thank you for joining me and i hope you'll join me for whatever is yet to come bye for now